Creating furniture and lighting that best fits a person with their style and their materials that they love can create a warmth in their life and they kind of take on a grandiose, nostalgic life on their own. So working with this lamp as a first structure, I base it off of a, a railroad lamp or a safety lamp that you would find and um, creating that kind of uh, wired structure or that structure around it to be protective of it. But still, this is using a lot of material actually. There's, there's uh, over 400 grams worth of material, um, which is a lot of how we measure. We measure in grams for 3D printing. Where this lamp is, is a pretty brand new design and uh, this actually uses less than 300 grams of, of plastic. And so by creating this, this woven structure, I actually create a really strong structure that um, can, can withstand a lot, but also at the same time is a very beautiful and fluid structure um, that can create some, some great effects. And so by, by manipulating the amount of weight, I can actually do a lot more than I would normally with um, other types of construction techniques. Um, within furniture from going from tree to actual finished chair, you would lose about 70% of the material in the process. With 3D printing like this, I've lost about maybe 1%, if not less, in the process. Um, and if I really didn't like what I printed, I can actually uh, turn it back into raw material and print again with that material, which is something that most other people in other types of design fields can't say at this point. When I'm starting off the 3D printing process of actually making the object after I've designed it, I start off with a roll of, of what's called filament. It, and this is a plastic um, in, a raw, in almost a raw form. And so you can see the, how thick it is and how it, gets, it becomes really tapered as it goes through the hot end or the uh, place upon extrusion. As this material gets pulled through the machine, it's spitting it out at such fine filament, some, such a fine thread, that to make an object that's actually pretty complex, it has to stop and start and stop and start. And it's going through all of these, these layers. So when it's building this, it looks like all these tubes organically growing and almost like how coral growth would be or um, watching a brick layer lay down all the bricks individually for each layer of a building. Um, so it can't go past this until it's made um, each one of these little tubes for this structure, this, this um, lattice work. It's laying down so little amount of material at a time that it actually becomes something that's a very long process. I don't have a goal of being in a museum one day. I have more of a goal of I'd love to just fade out with many, many people having my work in their homes and their children hopefully fighting over it one day. <laughs>